I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the International Diaspora Film Festival at Innis Town Hall in downtown Toronto. I'm here with the director of the festival, Sharon Tabe. What made you focus this year's festival on Latin America? Uh, Latin American diaspora is one of the major uh, the, the, uh, diaspora in, in, in Canada and around the world. And uh, actually Spanish is, is one of the major languages uh, in the world. So uh, we thought that uh, we can focus on, on this part of the world this year and uh, get some uh, uh, wonderful movies uh, in the festival. And you have a very exciting opening night film from Cuba. Can you tell me a little bit about the background of this film when it went to the Tribeca Film Festival in New York. Yes, that's actually very interesting. The, uh, the story of the film is about uh, three teenagers, Cuban teenagers, who, um, who decide to flee the country and go to Miami. And uh, then uh, last year, uh, the, the, the movie was uh, the, the, like it was. It, it made a big buzz in, in uh, around the world uh, uh, last year, and including uh, Tribeca. When it was uh, screened at, uh, in Tribeca, they uh, they, uh, uh, they invited the actors, and the actors actually uh, decided to defect in the United States and stay there. And uh, the two uh, uh, the two main actors, the, the girl and the boy who play uh, the brother and sister in the movie eventually uh, they, uh, uh, they got married and uh, they are waiting for their first child now. Aww. And what makes Latin America such an interesting diaspora? It's, it's, a, it's as vibrant as, uh, as the whole world actually. Like uh, uh, you listen to the music, you, you read the books, the literature, the movies, they are all uh, like one of the most wonderful cinemas in, in the world. They have very uh, good uh, filmmakers including Glover Rocha that we are uh, paying tribute to and he's one of the most influential filmmakers not only in Latin America but, but around the world. And last year at the festival you had some filmmakers in attendance, you had live music performance as well. What can we expect this year? Well, we have a, we have a wonderful uh, concert by Amanda Martinez uh, this year. And the story uh, behind it is that we, uh, we first selected a movie called Ciclo uh, to be the screened at the festival. And then later on, we learned that uh, uh, actually the main star in the, uh, in the movie is Amanda Martinez's father. And Amanda Martinez, I'm sure that uh, your, uh, your uh, viewers know that uh, she's one of the most uh, renowned uh, uh, Latin American jazz uh, singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, she's, she's Toronto based. Mm -hmm. And actually the, the, the movie is about uh, his, her father and her uncle who decided to uh, bike all the way from Mexico to Toronto in 1956. And they were planning to come here and go back, but they came here and they, said they, they, they decided to stay. And they, that, that was a life-changing uh, uh, journey. And where is the best place for us to find out more information on the Diaspora Film Festival online? It's uh, www.diasporafilmfest.com. Thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck at this year's festival. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Diaspora Film Festival in downtown Toronto.